right now. We're talking about rock and roll on TNN. We're at the All-American Sport Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. And an early score, it's Indiana State with the lead. But the Leathernecks will be fighting back. You can guarantee that. And Randy, some of your pro bowling buddies in the house tonight, and I'll tell you what, I guarantee they've never seen anything like rock and roll before. There's there's Chris Barnes for Rookie of the Year, Parker Bone III, soon to be Hall of Famer, Johnny Petraglia, Hall of Famer, the great Mark Roth, Hall of Famer, Mike Albee, another Hall of Famer, and Danny Wiseman, seven-time national champion titleist. Oh, what a lineup here. You know, our two championship teams today have proven themselves to be the best of our entire rock and roll competition. Let's see now what it took for Indiana State to make it here today. Remember this challenge from Indiana State, Stephen Kinder? We're going to get you next time. What do you think about that? That was way back in round one, after Indiana's first game and only defeat. Since then, we've seen a stronger, wilder, crazier, perhaps even a little more relaxed Team Indiana State. But as Coach Bill Kolasek knows, the proof is in the pudding, and putting that ball right through the pins. For Kimberly Tossing, for Sarah Rinkenberger, for Heather Losey, for Jay Bridges, and of course, for the always sublime Stephen Kinder. A great comeback is indeed something to be proud of. A victory earned, the best victory of all. And I am so proud of their effort this week. This is awesome. Thank you, Rock and Bowl. And thank you, Indiana State. And so now we are in the third frame of traditional bowling, and it's Heather Losey up on the approach for the Sycamores of Indiana State who, by the way, have opened up our traditional game, Randy, with two strikes. Got a double working. Can make it a three-bagger, or sometimes we call that a turkey. That would be it. And here is the shot for Heather Losey. Oh. And she's going to leave the bucket, the two, four, five, and eight. This is a tough spare. It's very choppable. A couple different ways to shoot this. You could go straight, right at the two-pin. You could throw a little curve in there, a little hook. Heather Losey now, her attempt at the spare in the third frame to keep Indiana State clear. No open frames, and that looks like oh. it was coming in a little bit light, leaving the four and the eight. And as Western Illinois gets ready to bowl, let's take a look at what brought them to our championship today. If there is one team of equal bowling proficiency to that of Indiana State, it is the team of Western Illinois University. Since the very start of this competition, we've witnessed several amazing displays of leatherneck ability. Like this round one spare pickup by 900 series record holder, Jeremy Sonnenfeld. And we've also seen a team brimming with humor, a group that truly delights in the sport in which they are so proud to take part. We're going to do the best we can, just keep doing what we're doing. And so, for the Fighting Leathernecks of Western Illinois, Jeremy Sonnenfeld, Christy McVicker, Michelle Hanley, Jeremy Thomas, and Eric Schaefer, good luck and continued success. You've certainly earned your place here today. And now, Christy McVicker for the Leathernecks of Western Illinois. Again, a break for them because an open in the third from Indiana State. Hold on. Here we oh, go. Yeah. Oh, boy. The Leathernecks right back in it. What a great shot that and was. And look at that. They've got Christy McVicker. Don't break her. Look at this ball hit the pocket. Oh, there's nothing left. And she loves it. She's going for a ride. Eric Schaefer has her airborne. And now they will carry the queen. I hear that eerie music once again, Randy. Your pens are showing. Here's our lady of the lane, Taylor Baldwin. How much fun can you have in the dark? Well, just check out our next rock and roll frame called Your Pins Are Showing. Now, it's just like a traditional rock and roll frame, but we turn the lights off. But when lights go off, the strobe light goes on top about cool effects. Now, each team gets one ball, and every pin knockdown counts for one point. So, lights up. And in fact, the lights are out. We've got the 
Strobelad working overtime here. It's like a bad dream. Ah! <laughs> and for that, the skillful Jay Bridges, the Sycamores of Indiana State, up first in our second rock and roll frame here. Penzer Shawin. Here's a shot. How's that? No problem. I'll tell you what. You got lights in your eyes. You got to stay focused. It's hard to see a target, Gary. Jay Bridges, lights went on just for a second, so he can be congratulated by his teammates. And now back out they go for Jeremy Sonnenfeld. He's our 900 series guy. 14, 300 games for Jeremy Sonnenfeld, a native of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Look out! Here's his shot. Jeremy Sonnenfeld, the strike maker. Hey, anybody that shoots 900 ought to be able to bowl in the dark. And this is what we're looking at. Indiana State leads in three traditional frames and by one in two rock and roll frames. They have the lead. It is wild man Steve Kinder. He's on the approach. This is the fourth frame of traditional bowling. He is intense, focused. Here's a shot. <laughs> Let's take another look at that one. He's throwing stuff all over the place. Now, folks, watch the action of the head pin. The head pin is going to go to the left sidewall, and here it comes. I'm going to get you. Now, let's take a moment of just relaxation here, if you will, please. Look at this guy. <laughs> look at him. He's banging on the ball return for the, his, the opposing team. <laughs> They're not going to like that, Yogi. You know, Gary, I remember when bowling, anytime you watch bowling on TV, it was always this hush, hush, quiet thing. Hey, not anymore, pal. This is the new millennium. We've got a new gig. That's right. Here's Eric Schaefer, the Leathernecks of Western Illinois, and he, in fact, saw that strike. How could you miss it from <laughs> Stephen Kinder? Illinois looking to work on a double here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh let's see what now. Say hello to you people. You, you mean a whole lot to me. Hey, our teams, well, they're going to aim for the gutter in our next rock and roll frame. But first, how about this trivia question? What legendary bowling team still holds the record for the most 300 games in one season? A, the Hopkins Straight Shooters. B, the Budweiser St. Louis All-Stars. Or C, the Sioux Falls High Rollers. Find out right after this. 